designing of mod 5 synchronous counter and this is the uh, you can see this is the truth table q3 q2 and q1 are the output of three flip flops and and you can see here when there was no clock pulses therefore it all is together it is indicating it is a showing zero and the first clock pulse you can see 0, 0, 001 it is decimally decimal is equivalent is 1 and when is 2 and uh, second clock pulses it is you can see 0, 1, 0 therefore it is indicating uh, decimally it is 2 and therefore as the fourth clock pulses will arrive then the value of q3 uh, output of the q3 will be 1 q2 will be 0 and q1 will be 0 and when the fifth clock pulse arrives it resets Therefore, it is, you can say that uh, after 4, displaying 4, it will reset to 0. And that is the mod 5. Now, we are coming to the designing. For a designing of the mod 5 synchronous counter, we have to know the, with the help of a JK flip-flop, we have to know the truth table of the JK flip-flop. And also, we have to know the state transition diagram. We, we, are, we have shown here the truth table, then straight transition diagram and from the straight transition diagram it can be state table of the mod 5 synchronous counter can be created and from that we can find the relationship of the j3 in terms of a the out, outputs q2 q1 and q3 and therefore from there uh, we, with the help of a kmap we found the j3 equal to q2 into into q1 and and k3 equal to 1 and j2 equal to q1 k2 equal to q1 and j1 equal to q3 bar and k1 equal to 1 and according to the whatever we got the designing expressions relationship we here with this with this we have as uh, this circuit diagram logical circuit diagram has been made and that that will be implementing in the lab and for that we have to come to the lab. Let's counter mod 5. Uh, we are implementing that with the JK flip flop and you can see that this as the clock pulse arrives says Q3, Q2, Q1 they are counting the clock pulses. When the first clock pulse arrives it is 1, uh, uh, 0, 0, 1 and 2 second clock pulse is 0, 1, 0 decimal it is 2 and then third clock pulse is 0, 1, 1 in that way it goes to four and after four the when the fifth clock pulse arrives it becomes again it becomes reset because it's a mod five it, it counts up to four and then it, it's reset to zero again and and then we are using and uh, that ic uh, 7476 we are using the ic 7476 you can look at the ic 747476 and that you can see there are two JK flip flops are present. You can see S1 and R1 and S2 and R2 are the preset and the clear and to deactivate them we are connecting to the VCC. Then coming to the then coming to the designing. Then coming coming to the designing. This is after the designing we got this we got this value. After the designing we got this value for assign assigned to J, J3 equal to. According to that design we have drawn this and diagram you can look at that designing and you can see q2 and q1 into equal to j3 therefore q1 and q2 q1 and q q1 and q2 are given input to the AND gate and output of the AND gate you can come to that you can is connected to the j3 you can you can come to the it's connected to j3 and then you can see k3 equal to 1 here k3 equal to vcc and then you can see j2 and j2 and k2 are both are q1 you can see the designing you can see the designing k2 both are q1 therefore you can look at that that uh, j j2 you can j2 and k2 both are connected to the q1 now you coming to the j1 connected to the q3 bar q3 bar is the second ic is the q1 that is the q q1 bar therefore this is the q3 bar is is connected to the you can see connected to the j1 and the uh, last is K1 is, is, is 1, therefore it is connected to the VCC. And then we, we next we are coming to the connection. Let's start connections. The first you can, this IC is the 
uh, 7.6, this is also 7.4.7.6, this is 7.4.0.8. I have connected the uh, VCC and ground accordingly. Now, now you can come to that, you, you, can, uh, you can see here that the S1 and R1, these yeah, I have written here, this is preset and, and clear. For to deactivate that, this, this uh, 2 and 3 and 7 and 8 should be connected to uh, VCC. Therefore, first I am connected to the connecting 2 and 2, 3. You can, you can see the, this is the 2, 3. 2 is connected to the VCC and you can see the 3 also connected to the VCC. 3 also connected to the VCC and 7 and 8 is connected to the 7 and 8. This is, a, this is the 7 and this is connected to the VCC and this is 8. 8 is also connected to the VCC because it is a 16 pin that all the numbering are same as in the as showing it is also connected to the VCC. Now you can see that in the other uh, IC also 7476 we require only one therefore we can connect 2 and 3 2 and, 2 and 3 to the VCC here 2 and 3 to the VCC you can connect to 2 and 3 and then 7 and 8 in this IC it is not required. Now coming to the, now, now you come to the Q3, Q3 available in uh, second IC, that means Q1, you can look at the pin diagram that Q1 is 15, therefore second IC, uh, it is the pin number 15, it will give you the Q3, therefore output side, therefore output is the most significant bit, Q3 is the most significant bit, therefore it's, it, is, it is connected to the output. Now Q2, you can look at that Q2 is the pin number 11. Therefore, you can 11 in the first IC. Therefore, 11 in the first IC connect to the next next most significant bit. I connect to the Q2. Next Q2. Next after Q2, Q1. Again, Q1 is again it is a pin number uh, 15 in the first IC. Therefore, this is the I have connected the all, all this. Uh, it connected to this. And therefore, I have connected this outputs in the output side. Now I am coming to the clock. Now I am coming to the clock. You can see the clock number one. You can look at that. One is the one is the clock. One is the one is the. Therefore, I am connecting one. You can see one. I am connecting is a clock. Is a connect, connecting to the clock. Therefore, I am connecting to the clock. Here is the clock pulses. Connect to the clock. And you can see here the six. Six is also clock. You can look at the six. Six is also a clock. I am connecting to the clock. And and you can see the second IC is the clock 3, is the clock 3 in the second IC. Therefore, I am using the 3 flip flop, therefore clock 3 is the second IC. This is also connected to the clock. And these are the, uh, the prior you have to connect these things before you are designing things to you have to con connect, collect, uh, you have to connect that these things you connect before that. Now we connect, now we connect to the according to the design. You can, you can look at the according to the design. Q2 into Q1 to be uh, and connected to the J3. There, this is the Q1. This is the Q1, and this is the Q2. And these two has to be given given to the AND gate. Input to the AND gate. Therefore, one and two I am giving. And output to the AND gate. Output of the AND gate has to be given to the J3. J3 is the J1 in the second IC. J3 is the J1 in the second IC. Therefore, J1 in what is the pin number for J1? You can look at that J1 is 4. Therefore, I am connecting to 4 in the second IC. This is this is all about uh, that J3. Now K3, K3 is the K1 in the second IC. Therefore, again K1, what is the pin number for K1? Is 16. Therefore, K1 is a 16 and it, it is the second IC. It is to be connected to VCC. I am connecting to VCC. Then you connect, then you come to the J2 is equal to Q1 and K2 also equal to Q1. Therefore, you can see the uh, I am connecting the uh, that is the uh, that is that is the Q1. It's connected to J2. What what is the uh, pin number for J J2 is nine. Therefore, in the first IC it is available in first IC. Therefore, J2 is the I am connected to nine. And K2. What is the pin number for K2? K2 is twelve. Therefore, again from Q1 is connecting to twelve. Is connected to twelve. Now you coming to the J1. J1 is connected to the Q3 bar. 
and Q3 bar is the Q1 bar in the second IC. Therefore, what is the pin number for Q1 bar is 14. Therefore, 14 in the second IC, it will be connected to G1 in the in the first IC. Therefore, it is connected to the Q and connected to the 4 in the first IC. And now last is K1. K1 is equal to K1 is equal to 1. Therefore, K1 is equal to pin number 16. Pin number 16 is connected to the VCC. And that all about the uh, designing and the connections of the circuits. And then we have to see the output. And uh, that will provide the clock pulses. And according to the clock pulses, the, our output that Q3, Q2, Q1 should change. Now, first I first you look at that. I, I provide the first first pulse. First pulse I am giving here. You can look at the, with the finger. First pulse I am giving here, and then you can look at the output. I am giving the first pulse and look at the output. Output has become 0, 0, 1. That means it is decimally it is one. Now I am giving to the, uh, again I am giving to the second pulse, you can look at that here, I am giving to the second pulse and then output output, output should change and giving to the second pulse here and we we'll look at the output and you can see look at the output, this is 0, 1, 0, that means it is decimal, it is 2, that means it is counting the clock pulses. Now you can, I am giving the third clock pulse, you can see that I am giving the third clock pulse and then the output has become 0. 1 1 that is 3 and when I give the fourth clock pulse fourth clock pulse and it will it will become 1 1 0 0 that means 4 and then the next clock pulse and I am giving the next clock pulse it has become 0 now therefore it has been reset to 0 now I am showing you that how it will work first clock pulse and again I am giving if I give the first clock pulse it will become 1 then it will become 2, then it will become 3, then it will become 4, then it will become 0. That all about your output.